It was so unexpected that like even I was surprised. It sold for $188.88. What on earth? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about plush. I love selling plush. Stuffed animals. Yep. Plush, stuffed animals. They mean the same thing. Um, I invited my Bolo Buddies Facebook group members to share their best plush bolo. So I posted this in the Facebook group. The Facebook group is getting close to 90,000 members. How crazy is that? So in the featured section of the group, so that's at the top, I have share your best monthly bolo. So whatever month it is, you're going to see that one. Well, for the past couple months, I've had a plush and oh my goodness, this is so fun. I may just make this a new thing because I love the plush. So we are going to see some big money plush bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. This first one says picked up for free on the side of the road. What? and sold for full asking price of $188. Get out of here. It's a vintage 1999 Nanco large snow leopard plush toy display Furby on the side of the road, $188. Incredible. Looks like it was an international sale. Paid $3 at a yard sale and sold for 300 plus shipping. Jumbo 1992 vintage three foot tall Barney rare stuffed animals from the 90s. 36 inches, Lion's Dakin. 300, 300 bucks. Got it for three at a yard sale. That's awesome. I will say that big plush, a lot of them do good. So look them up. They are kind of a pain to ship. Picked this up at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for $37 with free shipping. It is a vintage Putter Popples plush stuffed 8-inch green-orange 1986 by American Greetings. Yes, if you don't know, Popples are a great bolo item. This guy is smaller and still sold for $37. I sold her finally after two months. Okay, really? Two months is not that long for plush. Uh, a lot of times plush can sit unless it's something special. Uh, the special ones, they can go quick. It's like people have keywords, you know, in the search and when those things come up, they're just like on it. Sometimes they sell within, you know, hours, minutes. Some plush, it's better to auction. Um, I sold her finally after two months, took an offer of 120. Buyer was all in for 142.01. She is rare. I had 12 watchers. I got her at the Salvation Army thrift store for $2.99. She had no bow worth more with the bow and no dress. I added a Build-A-Bear dress. I am happy she is finally gone. Happy hunting. It's a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Sanrio Limited Valentine's Day Pink Hearts plush. Yeah. Um, I've sold a Hello Kitty and mine didn't have the bow either and it's still sold. But that bow, it does help. It does. Listed for about a month. Full asking price. So glad I went back for this one. No, or I'm sorry, my battery had died in the store. Got home and looked it up and couldn't get back to the store fast enough. $5 thrift find. It's a rare My Little Pony Pinkie Pie plush 25th anniversary jumbo and this is what it looks like so she went home and then researched it and had to go back to the store found these two cuties at my local goodwill less than five dollars with my senior discount saw a sold comp for the larger one for a hundred posted on mercari for 299 for the pair and was sold within a half an hour my first big money bolo part-time seller since the last february working towards retirement it's a vintage Sweepco, S-W-I-B-C-O, brown teddy bears, mama and cub, $299 plus shipping. All right, so I've talked about this in the other videos. If you're not selling plush on Mercari, definitely think about it. Um, I have seen so many big money bolos. If you check out the other video that the other videos I've done, you're going to see lots and lots of plush that sells for big money on Mercari. Uh, people are choosing to put their plush over there because number one, eBay gets flooded with plush and there's less on Mercari. Plus there's different buyers on Mercari. 
your money when you sell on Mercari goes into a little spot, a holding area, okay? You can take that money and you can withdraw it and deposit it into your account or you can spend that money on Mercari. So you've got people that are selling on Mercari and then using their money to buy on Mercari. So it's a whole new audience of buyers. They're not even looking at eBay. They're not looking at Poshmark. They're looking at Mercari. So if you want to sell on Mercari, I do have a link or buy. I have a link down below. If you join with my link, you're going to get $10 to shop. Once you are on there, if you want to sell on Mercari, once you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get another $20 to shop. So I challenge you to use my referral link, get your $30, go on to Mercari, buy something, source it from Mercari to resell. And let me know how much money you make on that $30 you got free from using my referral link. Oh, seriously. And I do get a... um it's a referral link. So I get a, when you guys buy, I get money and then money to shop. And then when you sell a hundred dollars, I also get money to shop. So what do I do? I use that money to buy stuff to resell. See? And then it's just a cycle. Then I'm spending money on the app. You're spending money on the app that Mercari gave us. And we're helping other people that are resellers just like us. It is just a total win-win. So anyway, that link's down below if any of you want to sell on Mercari, but I highly recommend getting your items onto Mercari, especially plush. Toys also do well over there. Those are kind of the things that I put on Mercari because that's what I like. Um, let me know in the comments if you sell on Mercari, what items do well for you over there? Okay, this one's cute. This is really cute. I bought these four small plush from the Salvation Army thrift store for $5.98. Lot of four Abby Hatcher fuzzles, plush, curly bow, mo, and little doe. <laughs> Catch a hug plush characters, fuzzlies, are from the Abby Hatcher fuzzly catcher show on TV. So a TV show. Oh my goodness. TV show characters. Yes. Bolo for them. I had them listed for $148, gave the watcher an offer of $125, which she accepted plus shipping. My first big plush sale. Owe it all to Courtney for encouraging us to look for these Bolo plush. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad it worked out for you. These are super cute. I love it. Oh my goodness, they are adorable. Always remember this guy sitting in my mother's doll cabinet growing up. No idea where she got it. I inherited everything. Uh, this comes from Bolo Buddies member Antiques by Karen, Janet. <laughs> I always get Karen and Janet. Which one comes first? This is her um, YouTube channel. Go and check her out. She is also now selling on Whatnot. She is a Bolo Buddies member. So what that means is she has joined Bolo Buddies, my YouTube channel, memberships at level two or higher, and she gets a mention, a pop-up in this video, and a link down below of her eBay store. So check her out. She is also on YouTube. I'll link that as well. She does live sales over there and on whatnot. So check her out. She's fantastic, super great person, and she has really great stuff that she inherited. So this is a vintage 1950s rubber-faced chimpanzee J. Fred Muggs doll. Plush Monkey, sold for $200. I bought at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold for full asking price of $125 plus shipping within the first few days of posting. It's a 2004 Barbie Fairy Topia Bibble. He vibrates and he chirps. Oh my goodness, I have never seen this one. I probably would have walked right past it Barbie Fairy Topia, $125, and it sold on Poshmark. So if you're not on Poshmark, you can sell plush on Poshmark. If you use my link below, you're going to get $10 to shop. And if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I want to do Poshmark and Mercari, how do I get my items over there fast, quick, and easy? List perfectly. <laughs> That's what I use. I cross post with it. I start my items on eBay, cross post 
directly to Mercari and Poshmark. You can also cross post from eBay into the List Perfectly catalog, and then it's in the catalog, and then you can cross post out to the other platforms. I think there's like 10 or 12 different platforms you can post to. If you wanna try List Perfectly, here's a video. It's a demo, it shows you how to do it, because if you're like me, you wanna see how to do it. Um, if you watch it and it looks like something that interests you, you can get 30% off your first one month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. I've been using it since 2019. Love it. So check that out. It's um, linked down below. Here is another big money Bolo. Sold on eBay for $215. I listed for $250 and then countered a couple times after he messaged me three times in an hour about the initial $150 offer. Finally settled on $215. Paid about a dollar at the bins. Yeah, you know when they're like messaging, messaging, messaging. They want that item. Good job countering. It is an Aurora Cartier Leopard with NYC Taxi Plush Stuffed Animal Rare. And she actually posted this in the Facebook group uh, before she put it on eBay. And I saw the update like super fast that it had sold. I figured it would. Super cool item. All right, this one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and she is also a Bolo Buddies member. She is an awesome human, and she's coming to Whatnot as well. You guys hear me talking about Whatnot. Whatnot is live sales, live auctions, but they also have a marketplace over there, so you can go and search if you're looking for something through the search bar for the marketplace. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. I am selling live, and I love it. I would love for you guys to come and hang out with me. I'm doing a lot of jewelry. I've done some toys. I've done some vintage clothing, um, but jewelry is my favorite. So Bolo Buddies on Whatnot, but if you're not already on Whatnot, there's a link down below and guess what? Free money. You're going to get $15 to shop if you use my referral link down below. If you want to sell on Whatnot, there's a link down below for that and it will tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you and usually from what I hear, if you use a referral link, you're more likely to get accepted. I've had Many, many people tell me that they were accepted very quickly when they used my referral link. So all that's down below. But anyway, Cat and Thrifty coming to Whatnot, waiting on her first show. Uh, she picked up this plush at a yard sale for $1. It's a Disney baby Simba Lion King stuffed with blanket, 10 inches tall, new with tags, 2014. And it sold for $17. Now, not a huge money bolo. I'm actually surprised it didn't sell for more being that it had its original tags. One thing you can do, uh, there's more than one. I'm not sure what the other ones are, but these blankets that come with them, you can sell them separately. So if you just find the blanket, pick it up because it will sell because somebody needs it as a replacement. Paid a quarter at an estate sale this week. Sheldon from Garfield Plush. This one comes from the Shalone Cherry Picker. It is an egg, Sheldon the Egg, from 1987 Garfield. It sold for $188.88. What on earth? Oh my goodness. I thought I'd give this one another chance in the spotlight. Bought him from the bins for probably about $4, judging by how heavy he was. He was bought very quickly for full price within days of listing, though I don't remember exactly how long. Vintage a and Jumbo Realistic White a uh, Samoid puppy dog stuffed plush blue eyes sold for $399.99. Yes. Bolo. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us, Courtney. Found this adorable plush at a thrift store for $2.50. I couldn't find any listed or any comps, but knew that Cartier is a luxury brand, so I bought it. At home, I researched it on Terapeak and saw that four sold in the last year for $150 to $200. I listed it for 200 plus shipping and took an offer 12 hours later for 150 plus shipping. Is that the same one? Yeah, no. Let me look. That's two different people, you guys. <laughs> two different people, same plush. How weird is that? Wow. Okay, and we're gonna end this with mine. Mine is not a big money bolo, but it is so unexpected. It was so unexpected that, like, even I was surprised. Um, I was going through a bunch of plush that I got at the Goodwill bins, and I searched this one. I think 
I maybe typed in Carter's Monster or maybe I did Google Lens. I can't remember, but comps looked really good. And this guy is a Carter's Monster Alien Green Teal Plush Orange Horn Stuffed Animal, retired from 2015. It's just a pretty average plush, normal from Carter's, you know, like Carter's. It's not even, it's not Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying that right? I'm probably not even saying that right. It's Carter's. I know how to say Carter's. And I sold it for $46.50 plus shipping, got it at the bin. So my cost of goods was probably around a dollar. So we are going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, there's going to be some videos popping up. Go over to the Facebook group. I will link it down below. And you guys can share your best plush bolo. You can also share your monthly bolo. And I'll feature it in a video just like this. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.